Hey guys, I'm going to show you today how to easily create hair for Unity 3D using Blender and uh, Hair Factory. Hair Factory is a project done by Major Nightmare uh, for Unity, which creates these uh, textures for the low poly meshes representing hair. So let's get straight to it. Once you download the um, Hair Factory from uh, from Blendswap page, you get this list of files which one of them is a hair factory blend file. When you open the file, this is the environment that you will see. On the left side, you see the generated texture for your hair. On top, there is an editor where you can modify, uh, modify the hair mesh and uh, the structure of the hair. And below are the instructions. We start by enabling only the layer 1 and layer 11. And now we will render the uh, we'll render the, the file pressing F12 and we immediately see that there is a problem that the texture is rendered as a black and white okay so we're just gonna pause it not to waste too much time you need to basically select the hair component and then in the particle you need to select this material slot before it was number two which no longer exists and it's a hair particle slot now also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to decrease the resolution for speed purposes only to 256 by 256 for render. And then we're just going to re-render the image pressing F12. Right. So, what we can do now is select one strand of hair and modify some properties. So, let's, for example, make the hair shorter. So we select the hair, we select the particle, and then we modify the length of hair to, for example, 0 0.5. What we do now is we, um, we go back to the render properties, we select the Targa resolution file with RGBA, and we re-render the file. Let's just do 512 by 512, which is a bit better. And now we render. Okay, we get a nice set of uh, brownish hair. So what we need to do now is to save this file. Image, save as image. And then we save this as output DGA. Output DGA. We'll close this view. And we can do a reload and then we'll see the see the texture on the on the left, the our generated texture. Alright, so now we have a texture. What we need now is, is a model of hair that we will be using for our avatar. That those models are stored in layers uh, 3, 5 and 11. What we'll do is we select, for example, the hair from level 4, which look good. We select those strands of hair, so we select all strands of hair that we want to, want to export. This one, and now what we'll do, we'll export this hair into into FBX. We export only selected objects. We don't include animations and all this. We export to FBX. We get some some warnings which we shouldn't worry about for now. And so as a next step, what we can do is to take this file, the FBX file, so let's just make this smaller, and put it into our project. So let's just put it into, into in here. So and this is our hair factory. So we will put it in the scene. Well let's just make it a bit bigger before we include it. 0 0.5 uh, apply. Let's put no rig for now and no animations, okay. 
So now we're ready to put it in the scene. And as we see, there are two problems. There, are, there is no texture and the hair is not visible. Uh, the head is only one-sided. So we start with the first problem of, uh, of putting the texture onto the hair. So we have our hair factory and here are the materials. What we need to do is to basically take this the texture that we have generated, put it in the materials, and then we put it into our material. Alright. What else we need to do is we need to make this white. And as we see, the texture is there. The problem, of course, is first of all that the there is no transparency, which we can be solved by a by a plugin. So, for example, we can use the transparent diffuse plugin, and we get a nice, nice set of hair. Okay, but the other problem is to is that uh, there is um, no shader. We can we will have to create a double-sided shader. So let's just do let's just do that, and let's in the scripts put a new shader, and let's call it double-sided transparent shader all right so we create a new shader I'll put a code on my on my blog we save this we go back here we go back to our uh, our object and let's select the material that we have uh, we have applied to it so our factory so this is the material and the material of course will be the new transparent vertex illuminated with Z. And as we see immediately we get the double-sided hair with a nice transparency and nicely lit from inside 